What is up everybody? I'm Kubrick and this is yet another episode of my ongoing castle building series called The Siege of Bricks Conquest. If you're here for the first time, then you should know that this mock is a part of a collaboration I am making with Edge of Bricks, which will be a continuation of our collab we did about two years ago, and the goal is to show a siege of a medieval castle. This year, Edge of Bricks is making the castle, which my army will be attacking, opposite to what we did the last time when I was the defender. You can watch his castle progress on his channel, which I will link down below, but we're here to talk about the outskirts of the castle that I am building, so let's get to it, shall we? We have a lot of progress done in the last two weeks, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. But first, be a lad and hit that like button, will you? And while you're down there, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. We already passed the 3000 subscribers mark, and because of that I am hosting a Castle Team Mock Contest. So if you're interested, check out the video in the card or in the description of this video. As for the progress and what we will talk about today, we have done some more groundwork on the second base plate, almost finished the road, and a cherry on top which is the prototype of a battering ram that will be storming the castle gate. Also, I just received my lookbook order, so I wanted to talk about it a bit as well since many of the parts I got will be very useful here. So sit back and relax, and first of all, we have to talk about the groundwork I made because the second base plate is starting to look like the real deal. I started doing the road in the last episode, but unfortunately couldn't finish it because I was missing few key parts, but now it's almost made completely. I've intentionally left the front part open, because here I will have to mix it a bit to create a freeform edge at the end of the road, and that I can do when I'll be making the edge on the third base plate, so there will be time for that later on. But I have to say that what I've already made on the road is looking very solid. The technique that Edge of Bricks came up with for the row looks very good spanning over the whole base plate and going all the way to the bridge. It may look a bit flat for now, but trust me, it will get a lot better when I cover the sides with a couple of layers of grass like I started doing on the backside. As for the area in front of the road, here I started making the support structure and most importantly I made almost the whole freeform edge in the front, which was not as simple as it may seem. I may not be an expert in making a freeform edge, but I'm very happy of how it turned out in the end. This was like the third attempt of making the freeform, but I finally got it right, blending it quite seamlessly with the little dune from the riverside, while still keeping it in the style that the olive green edge will look in front of the castle. Here again of course it will look a lot better when I cover it with layers of greenery, just like you can see in this little sample area where the goat is standing, so the end effect should be satisfying enough. From here I'm going to make a small hill going all along this side of the road, raising slowly towards it, put a fence around this area and fill it up with a flock of sheep. For now the main goal is to make the groundwork as smooth as possible using some green wedge plates and a bunch of grass stems. And now it's time for the star of the show. What would the Siege of Bricks be without some heavy duty weaponry, so this year I decided to make a battering ram to destroy the castle gate. It may not be as functional as the ballista I did in our previous collab, but for what it's used for it works enough. After all, it's just a big log hanging on a couple of chains. Anyway, as for the build itself, the frame is held by 6 wheels so that it will be stable and easier to move, although the frame itself isn't too sturdy because of the techniques I've used. I decided to sacrifice the swooshiness of the build in favor of the looks and I am very happy of how it turned out. On the sides there are a couple of levers for the soldiers to be able to push the machinery on the road and it's all covered with a double layered roof to prevent the soldiers to be shot at by the enemy archers from the castle walls. But here I need your opinion guys, because I'm not quite sure what to do. Do you like the lower roof made like it is with nougat printed tiles? Or should I go with all reddish brown? Let me know in the comments. And of course the main element in the ram is the log inside, which is nicely finished by this big figure helmet I got some time ago on Bricklink. 
This part was actually the reason I decided to make the battering ram, since it's a nice decorative element while at the same time a reasonable one to be placed on the tip of the ram, fitting the medieval aesthetics perfectly. The whole thing still needs some new parts to replace the miscolored ones, but I think it's a great addition to the collab and most importantly a thing that Edge of Bricks can be afraid of. And here a question pops into my head. Would you guys want a tutorial for the battering ram like I did for the ballista two years ago? It's been a while since I made any tutorials, but it shouldn't take too much time, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And as for the rest of the mock, there is still a lot to do, and for that I'm going to need a whole lot of new parts. Unfortunately, I am still waiting on the bricks and pieces order I placed a month ago, but at least I have something else to add to this mock, as well as many others in the future actually. Yes, the lookbook finally came, so while waiting for the rest of the parts, let's check out what I got here. Of course, not every part will be used in this particular mock, but I'm sure we'll find something interesting, so let's dig in. And let's start with all the plants I got. I'm especially excited about these green claw pieces that will make a great pine tree or something. I also got some stems, some leaves, and the brown tail elements which will be great for making the trees. Next are some super useful dark tan pieces for the groundwork, some more different dot pieces, curved wedges, and also some curved slope corners. Now for more technical parts, I got a lot of brackets in different shapes and colors, a few clips, snot bricks, both Travis as well as corner ones, and some of these new 1x1 one one double plates with holes, which should be super useful overall. Of course I couldn't pass on the falcon torsos and legs, so I took 20 of them. As well as few Doctor Strange capes and these flex cables in brown that will be used for the fence around the sheep pen. And here is a lot of trans clear and dark grey bars that are also new parts from last year, along with different colored shafts, T-shaped bars, these new 90 degrees clip bars, normal ones but in light grey, some one by one round tiles with bars, some clip holders, other pin studs, cables and a few threads. Various parts like windows, BB-8 heads in grey and different color arches. and also some rounded plates with holes and a variety of wedge plates. And now for some more regular parts, I got different tiles, a bunch of half plates half tiles, dark green ingots and triangle tiles in different colors. And finally we jump into the most useful ones that are plates and bricks. So starting with plates, I got some big ones, some smaller ones, the long awaited 1x5s, 1x2s in different unusual colors and some 1x1s. And as for the bricks, I got few rounded corners, some Technic ones in green, 1x1 in some new colors a bunch of 2x4 in grey, 1x2s in sand green and some masonry. A lot of masonry. So yeah, that's a lot of bricks I got this year, but I couldn't be more excited to make good use of them. But there will be time for that someday in the future. For now, I'll just take the parts I need for the siege and put the rest to the side. After all, I have a lot of building ahead. And that brings me to talking about the future schedule for this building series. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make the next episode in two weeks because I'm starting my summer holidays, 
mixed with renovating my kitchen so there will be significantly less time for building as well as YouTubing. But I'll do what I can not to keep you guys waiting for too long. Maybe before the next episode I'll at least make the tutorial for the battering ram. That is, if you guys are interested in that at all of course. As for now, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and all the progress I've made. And if you did, remember to smack that like button and let me know what you think about the build in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video here on Cube Brick, and until then, stay safe and keep it bricking.